Hi guys, and welcome back to another edition of, the, of a creature feature brought to you by the Reptile Zoo. I'm Michael, and today we're gonna take a look at one of my all-time favorite lizards. This is a Savannah Monitor Lizard. Now, what makes this one of my favorites? Well, it's a nice size lizard for one thing. They're not quite as huge as a lot of other monitor lizards are. Uh, this guy is pretty much considered full grown, although the males can get bigger, up to about five feet. That's kind of rare, but it can happen. And these guys are found in the savannas of Africa. That's why it's called a savanna monitor lizard. The savanna monitors are also unique in their build, especially in the head, where most monitors tend to have a real streamlined look to them. One thing that makes the savanna stand out is a bit more of a boxy, bulky look to that head. And these guys uh, do have a pretty robust build to them um, compared to other monitors, but he is still part of that family. Monitor lizards are some of the most intelligent reptiles in the world, and that can make it sound like a pretty attractive pet as well. You might think, oh, I can train them like a dog, and yes, you can actually. Many of them can learn uh, a very, very few vocal commands. Uh, they can come to you when you call their name, for example, especially if you associate that sound with food. They'll come running. But don't be fooled, it is still a monitor lizard, and they're not bad pets per se. Uh, they can actually be a pretty pretty popular pet lizard on the market, but you really just, you know, you gotta know what you're doing with them. Cause you know, it's not a dog, it's not a domesticated animal. It's still a lizard, it's a big lizard on top of that. And you just gotta spend a lot of time with them. So it's good if you, you know, you don't travel a lot, if you're home a lot, that is always really, really good. You spend a lot of time with these guys from the time they're very, very young. And honestly, you may go through a little bit of a terrible twos, but honestly, by the time they grow up, they're really wonderful lizards. I would dare say even affectionate, which is something you don't typically think about in reptiles, but they could be very comfortable spending lots of time around people. Monitor lizards are some pretty tough lizards themselves. Uh, they have amazingly good senses, not just their sense of smell, but also their eyesight. It's actually the reason they're called monitor lizards. They're very good at looking around and observing their surroundings with their eyes. Uh, this is a good way to not only avoid danger, but spot some potential meals. They'll scavenge around. Uh, primarily their diet is going to be meat, although this guy actually has a bit of a sweet tooth for strawberries, I've learned. Uh, however, meat and eggs are certainly a very, very large part of their diet. One of the most interesting things they like to eat is also one of the most dangerous. Of course, monitors will certainly eat snakes, but one of the snakes that's at the top of this guy's list is the cobra. Now, cobras are highly, highly venomous animals, and a bite from one of them can be pretty dangerous for us, but not for this guy. Not only is their skin surprisingly thick, uh, but also, even if somehow that short fang was to penetrate through and inject the venom into his bloodstream, not really a big deal because he's built up an immunity to that venom, being a natural predator of that snake. Pretty amazing lizard, if you ask me. But uh, despite how tough and vicious a monitor it has the potential to be as you can see with plenty of time spent around people look at he's sleeping on me well maybe that eye's open but this eye is just shut tight and he is mwah, sound asleep well except now maybe i woke him up with that little kiss <laughs> but they can be amazing lizards and uh i gotta say it's always so much fun to get to work with these guys all right, well, maybe we should let this guy continue having his nap, and we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode. But thanks so much for joining us, guys. It's always a pleasure to bring you some amazing animal details and some amazing animals. And we'll see you in the next video on our next Creature Feature. Take care.